In this video, I'm going to tell you the one place you must absolutely seal to prevent catastrophic engine damage to your van or RV if you leave it sitting in any location for more than a few days at any time. It almost happened to me. I've had my share of critters to deal with. Let me tell you, I'm a bit tired of it all. A lot of times it's just a nuisance, but this past spring when I started my van after parking it for the winter, I almost had catastrophic engine damage. When I started the van, it was sputtering like it couldn't get enough fuel or oxygen. And then it eventually stalled. Let me show you what happened. So I opened my engine bay and started poking around and it didn't take me long to figure out what had happened. I popped open my air filter and inside found the air filter was packed solid with old ripped up insulation, newspaper and construction debris. But after finding this and starting to clean it out, I eventually got a little more worried. I followed the air intake hose all the way as it went back into the throttle body. It's probably too dark to see. And that was clear. But when I looked at the throttle body, it too was packed solid, full of the insulation and debris. So what was happening when I started the van engine was that the engine couldn't get any air. So that's why it was sputtering and stalling. Now the reason I was thinking this could have been catastrophic was because when I started the vehicle, that debris and insulation could have got sucked right into the engine. The throttle body has a round tube and then at the end there's the throttle itself which is a plate which tilts as you step on the gas to adjust the amount of air that's coming into the engine. The reason why the engine was sputtering and stalling was because when I stepped on the gas the actual plate couldn't couldn't move because it was jammed full of debris which was blocking it. And then I got a little bit worried because was it jammed because when I started the engine it sucked all of that debris from my air filter and butted up against the throttle after a bunch got sucked into my engine? I don't think that's what actually happened. I think what the little critters did was they went in there and followed the air intake as far as they could to the throttle and came to the plate and even though you can push it with your hand I don't think they were strong enough so they just started packing it full of the insulation and debris which is actually what saved me because I think when I started the engine it was so packed that when I stepped on the gas the throttle couldn't move because it was packed so full of insulation. So anyways once I cleaned it all out I fired up the van and it ran like a kitten again much to my relief. So after I got everything cleaned up the next job was to figure out how the critters got into the air intake system and to fix that. So if, if you look at my air intake here, well, there's this huge hole here for the air to come in. And before I fixed it, it was just a big open tube. And the solution, which looks a bit shoddy right now, but it works, was to take some plastic mesh. This is just inexpensive plastic garden mesh from the dollar store. I simply cut a rectangle out and then duct taped it around the opening. While this doesn't look so great, it's completely solved the problem and only took a few minutes to do. So I obviously highly recommend plugging this hole if you keep your vehicle in one location for any length of time. Just be careful, you obviously can't block it too solidly because it needs to get the air in through that hole, but I think that garden mesh that I put in there is a good compromise. If you found other areas of your van or RV that rodents can get into and create havoc or a mess, please share in the comments and let others know. And if you found this helpful, consider subscribing because it really does help the channel and I'll be putting out lots of other tips relating to vans and RVs in the coming weeks. I'll see you in the next video.